this is a rock and roll monster movie. So, uh, A, we need a monster, and B, we need rock and roll. A Trick or Treat is about a high school student named Eddie Weinbauer who listens to heavy metal music. He's what some people call a headbanger. His hero, Sammy Kerr, who is a heavy metal rock star, dies in a mysterious fire. He gets a hold of the last album that was recorded by Sammy, and on this album he finds hidden messages that seem to pertain to his life. He gets more and more caught up and actually finds that it's Sammy sort of coming back from the grave. I just think it's sexist, evil, satanic rubbish. Evil. Spell evil backwards. Spell it. Those rockers really have a strange sense of humor, don't they? I don't even think it's a sense of humor. I think they're just out and out sick people. You're the bait. The bait is you. Some people think that oh, us people in rock and roll put secret messages backwards on records that when you play the record backwards you get these like uh, demonic messages given to you. There are, there are messages. You have found the secret message. Nail them all. Remember. Revenge. Remember. <laughs> if you were a parent, would you want your kid growing up around rock music? It's body time! Yeah, this is the old nooster coming at you right here. If I wasn't acting, I'm sure I'd be stretched out on a Sykes couch going, when I was born, I, you know, doing that stuff. Before it was all the film stars and rock stars. Now it don't matter, you know. Even film stars now are becoming rock stars, and rock stars are becoming film stars, you know. But when you go to see a movie, what do you do? Watch it more or listen to it more? I think the answer is that if it's a good movie, you do both. He makes it big in the, in the rock business and is on top of his world. Yeah, Sammy, he was a good guy. He was the good stuff. He was the real stuff. He was a star. He dies. I won't say how. The fast die on, I guess. He's taken revenge. They tried to ban him. They couldn't stop him. And there is an addiction that is reaching an epidemic proportion in our schools. I am referring to rock music. You should never judge a book by the cover. And I must admit, some of the covers I've put out with my music haven't been something that you would like to pin up on your bed living room wall. Nowadays, they have to write some sickness. It's just absolutely sick and bizarre, and I'm going to do my utmost best to try and stop it now. Well, Ozzy Osbourne is, is the classic, you know. He's, he's what everybody's notion of this satanic, demonic, heavy metal rocker is. I'm, I get a lot of flack off these religious movements and uh, various people around the country saying that I'm an antichrist, that I'm a devil worshiper, and all that kind of bunk, you know. Did he really saw the legs off of the dog, or is that just... I, I don't know. The incident with that, that bat, which was a total accident, I'm not trying to get away with the fact that the fact of the matter was that happened. Ban him. Just get rid of him, get him out of society before it becomes like a cancer, which we cannot stop. These evil people have just got to be stopped. Ah! Going to a party. No! No! People who love horror movies realize that they're movies and they're good fun and that's it. Oh, ah, it's so fun, you know. It's just a fun thing to do, you know. That's why it's no, no inside secret messages. You have found the secret message. If, if to collect your prize, please send a note to. Trick or treat, I'll see you on Halloween. Trick or treat, small feet. Come back tomorrow. Trick or treat. That's the continuing magic of rock and roll.